Templus blue, Temple God. Oh, Temple God blue. Oh, I had Temple God blue. I didn't. Oh man, the colors look green on here, but they're blue on the bottle. I hate this. Lutheran <laughs> blue. Wait, let's do it. No, it wasn't. No, wait, was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm just checking. I haven't screwed this up completely. Temple God blue is what we need next. Okay. Great. I don't have the green that they had. That's okay. We've got the other thing. We've got the Temple God blue, which is next. Um, that's a layer. That's a layer. Like the green. It's like a dark turquoise. None of these make sense. <laughs> None of these colors make sense to my head. I like a pound fifteen. That's super cute. They look so good. You're so talented. What was what? Sorry. <laughs> these definitely. These are definitely rude colors. They are rude. Why do they not match? Okay, so we've got a lot of greens anyway. We can play with them. Okay, we played with the Araman blue. That's what we just did. That was like a jewel blue. Now we're going to add some lighter color to it. I don't think I've got a thick enough color on there though, because you can still kind of see the black through it. I think I'm going to go a bit thicker with that blue, that particular blue. And then we'll go and we'll do, like I'm just going to paint in the layers in here. Yeah. And then we'll start to add. Yeah, this is going to look way better. I just need it to be a bit thicker. It's a little bit thin right now. We'll add the highlights and the shadows at the very end. Yeah, it's super hard to show you, but it's definitely better. So I'm going to get a lot more of that out. Uh, that one. Let's put a lot more of that down. Scoop it all out. Oh, squidgy. Good noise. Something that sounded like a motorcycle. Oh, yeah, probably outside. Sorry, yeah, I get used to the traffic. It was definitely outside. Traffic noises. Life of London. Traffic every day, all day. Oh, look how bright that is. I'm going hardcore with this. This is very watery, but it should hopefully not be too streaky. Guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out. I think I like painting the solid layer and then I brush over the like shades and stuff with a dry brush to merge colors. The actual shop near you has started selling the actual Bob Ross brand of paint. No, I'm so jealous. That's so expensive though. I didn't even notice the bike. It definitely would have been a bike outside. <laughs> Amazing what you become like deaf to. I'm also deaf to all the planes. Um, when people come around, I forget that they're not used to it. Everybody always comments on the plane noise. We're on Heathrow Path. Sometimes. They change the plane, like flight paths every now and then. But yeah, you can hear all the planes in our house. And I'm on the ground floor. It must be really shitty up top. That's yeah, such a nice jewel color. It's a little bit thin though, right? Because you can see the, the, the primer underneath. Might need to do a bit thicker. I quite like having two pieces of this to do at once. You can do a little bit, let it dry, and then do the other bit, and let it dry.
<laughs> as much as you can hear the neighbors, yeah. And the main one's been away for a bit, it's been really nice. It's been really nice. Obscure comedy reference, but every time you hear someone mention Peter, you hear Russell Howard going, King Terry, he's wearing a fuck off because of the eye recognition scanner there and security, which he can't use, yeah, because with the lazy eye, so he can't use the eye recognition stuff. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> Those, um, those sensors are really good though. They've improved them a lot. I have to take my glasses off every time I go through because I can't recognize your eyes if you've got glasses on. And it's matched to like your passport or your visa photo. So I have to take my glasses off and look at it in a certain way because I look really grumpy in my passport photo. So I have to pull a bit of a sour face to get through Heathrow. <laughs> Which is not hard because Heathrow makes everyone angry. It's a hard airport. It's so much easier now that they have those in place because as a foreigner, I always had to go into the foreigner line with the New Zealand passport to get my visa checked. And it was just, it would always be a two and a half hour wait going through Heathrow Airport. But about two, three, well, maybe about three years ago now, they introduced those and they allow New Zealanders to go through it. And it's just an absolute dream. I love it. I love Russell Howard though. He's so funny. He's one of my favorite British comedians. He's so on point with social issues as well. I love watching the series with him with kids. I don't know if you've seen it. It's very um, Barrymore, but it's basically looking at, I don't know if anyone here is old enough to know Barry Moore, um, but he does like a, I guess it's Bill Cosby, people might know it for Kids Say the Dunder thing. He does a comedy segment with kids in schools and he just goes around asking them specific questions and the, the responses they give are always really classic. You basically have to give the future eye scanners, I <laughs> mean you do indeed. <laughs> That's what I have to do, it's resting bitch face for me every single time and I, I'm usually pretty grumpy. Because you have to walk like seven miles just to get from your plane to the gate. What is this mythical creature? I am definitely grumpy most mornings. <laughs> I'm not a morning person in the slightest. If I have to be a... Like, it doesn't even matter what time of day it is. It's when I wake up, I have the initial grumps. He is a gem and Dee Dee is a gem. I don't think people were, like are aware of just how funny he is. The British are really funny, I think, when it comes to their own talent. It's very similar to New Zealand, I guess, where you get like the tall poppy syndrome is what we call it. Um, we kind of cut people at the knees, keep them level, and then get too ahead of themselves, you know? This is such a pretty color. It's like I'm painting everything in turquoise. Just trying to think about how far up I want this color to go because we're going to then do lighter color below it. I think this is pretty good. It's looking pretty good. And like in the recesses, I need it to be darker. Yeah, I'm good. Look out here, should be lighter. Look at that colorway already. It's not bad, huh? Not bad for a newbie. That's actually how it will sit on the back. Yeah, it's not a bad little color. <laughs> My blending needs some technique, but I'm getting there. Color's looking not bad. Hi, Megatron, how you doing? Welcome on in. He's on point with social commentary, yeah. You have to throw the needle on a platform like these days and he makes it look effortless. He really does. He makes it look so effortless. I think he's just got really clear views on what he approves of and doesn't. And it's just very much on point. Um, but yeah, he handles it in a way that I think many, many people do not do very well. Thanks! <laughs> I'm slightly proud of it. 
I think this is looking really cool. It's gonna take me ages. See, this is why layering is so painstaking because it takes ages to get right. Try 60 layers and we'll see if it's any good by the time it's drying. Just trying to think of where the natural recesses and where it doesn't need to be a bit brighter. This is a bit darker. This is a shitty paintbrush, so it's just kind of bending on some of the points instead of painting on them. Concentration bags. Sorry, that got really blurry. That wasn't the intention. This kind of does what it wants. some darker colors over this i'm just going to give this one mostly the bright bit on the inside because i like it bright there yeah i mean this is the inside too no one's going to see it this is literally for my own pleasure this bit what i'm doing though is i'm marking these into a, a like a, a folder or a category into my VODs, all the Warhammer stuff, so I can go back and I can see the colours I use. So if I forget what I used on one side, I can watch the video. <laughs> go, go and make notes and then do that on the other side again. So I've got a five head, you know. I am a total five head. Let's go a little darker again. Oh, I need more water. Just add a little bit of darkness up here. Be too wet. Definitely too wet. I'm going to get a darker blue, I think, to come in with these layers because I haven't got a dark enough one. So I might buy that in the black this week and we can come and do like a nice layered effect on this next week for the darkened set pieces. Nice dark blue in there. But holy bananas, if I flip it, you're going to see the difference, right? You ready? So that's the base and then started layering. And that's what it was before. So I think that's a pretty dramatic difference. <laughs> dramatic do this thing to Just putting some light color on so I know where to go. Just giving myself a quick guide. Just a really rough quick guide. Hi, Chameleon, how you doing? Welcome on in. Happy Sunday. I hope the day is treating you well. You had a nice weekend? Or well, having a nice weekend, it's not over yet. We're just trying to layer up this color a lot thinner than we did last time. <laughs> Hopefully give it the jewel look without it being really caked on. I'm just adding this green and then I'm going to go and let it dry again before we add the lighter color. But we've got this skull that we're also painting at the same time.
And this is the back of the wings. So we've done just a little bit of a darker color. So originally it was black. Focus on the wings when we go, it was black. Then we added a darker blue base. So we kind of mixed some colors to get. So you can kind of see a little bit there. And then we added a lighter blue and now just a really light blue on top of it. And then we'll start doing some highlighting once this is dry. Might layer a little bit more. There's a lighter color to go on yet again. But I think this is coming together nice. I'm liking the color on it. It's really jewel toned. Prepping kiddos return. Oh yeah, school tomorrow. That's exciting. Is he looking forward to it? Like has he got some cool classes coming up this year? I mean, no kid really enjoys going to school too much, do they? <laughs> I don't want to oversell the enjoyment of school. No, I always loved going to school. <laughs> I'm a total nerd. I always get excited about like, oh, I've got art class this semester, or I took a lot of languages. So it was like German or Italian. I loved it. I'm, an, I'm a total nerd. He's nervous to go back. Yeah, everyone's always nervous. Oh, new school. That's really exciting. That means like everybody's going to be nervous though. So it's kind of that nice bonding moment. I can understand that. But yeah, you're excited. I can imagine. I can imagine you are. Oh, exciting for a new school. He's going to be aces. He's going to do so well. Aces has made its way back into my vocabulary. Um, I think I might be reliving the 90s. I don't, I don't know why, <laughs> but it has, and I am. I've been watching Breaking Bad. Do you think I'd be swearing up a storm? That show always used to make me swear. Just watching it, I just pick up the language. I'm like a sponge, I absorb what's around me. Call that too much. Well, this one I haven't colored at all on the inside. There's just a bit of color there. Okay, let's give that a little bit of a merge. And a dry brush, just straight up into the dark. give you a view on that. You can see it's still got the dark to it, but it's got much more of that jewel tone. We'll get some dark in there. We'll get some dark highlights. Well, low lights. Shadows? Shadows. <laughs> Contrasting shadows. He's a brilliant kid and you know he's going to do great. Yeah, he is. You should have placed a healer, but you placed a barbarian. Well, <laughs> I can't help you with that. <laughs> That's quite a big difference. How you doing, Mark? Welcome on in. <laughs> hope you're having a good weekend and playing with all of the colors today now the shades i didn't really understand how to use the shades that well i hope you're having a really nice week um we're gonna go for it we're gonna do it on the skull though uh since we said that aside because it's blue it's very blue it needs a proper clean so let that dry let's come back to this we're gonna do really thin brush like super thin baby brush this little guy and we're gonna do the cracks on the skull again now, i was too heavy-handed with this last time so i'm just gonna put some of this on the paper like my wet bar yeah and i'm gonna i'm gonna give that a good water out again Make it nice and thin and light and nervous. We're going to do the cracks on this again. Bless you, Adrian. Oh my God. Okay. I don't need it to be too dark, like watered down. We've got the tiniest little cracks in here. Well, this is hard. 
This is definitely much more fiddly. This is shade Seraphim Sepia. I think this might be the tiniest brush I own right now. We hurriedly put this in last time, so I wanted to come back to it and do it slowly. Okay, so we've done one crack. One. Looks pretty cool though. Oh, bad already, already? Let's go. Okay, there you go. You all get to have it. Do it. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to win this one. There's 153 enemies. I think we may not win the skin battle. <laughs> Oh, you caught COVID? Oh no. Wait, you have a conference call on a Sunday? I'm so sorry. Oh, too late, sleep frame. Apologies. <laughs> I'm so sorry you had COVID. I hope that the symptoms aren't too bad for you. Uh, yep, we're going to redo that one. Hey, you got them down to 51. That's not bad. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's do another one. I'm going to retry it. We're going to retry it. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put a flag bearer down this time. I'm going to put down an actual tank. Tank. Tank crackle. Um, and we can put anything we down unit-wise that we like. Let's do it. We can definitely do it this time. And I'll, I'll remember to wait to ask what we need for the battle. I remember. It's fine. We'll get a victory this time. It can't all be winners or we wouldn't know we won. <laughs> I know that's not real, but we're going with that. Oh, I'm really sorry you have COVID though. That's just... It's a kick in the teeth getting COVID right now. Like it's summer. Give me some like summer happy vibes. So we're supposed to all suffer with hay fever, not have COVID. I'm going cross-eyed <laughs> looking at this definite cross-eyed moment. Oh my goodness. Look how good his little tiny cracks look. Oh, sorry. It keeps focusing on the wings. Let me just move them so you can see it. His little tiny cracks on the side of his head. This little skull. hair on there. I want to like get it to scoop up some more. There we go. These little scoops on the paint are really cute but they don't always hold as much as I want them to. I need you to hold more paint. That's a bit better. I'm doing the inside of his nostrils. It just gives that little extra depth to have the dark in there. Come on, you want to put it? There you started planning my content calendar for October. It feels so far away. I can't believe I'm already planning October. But I've actually got all of my jewelry planned into December. <laughs> all of my jewelry is planned. And I have um, stream 
I'm like 50% planned. I saw there was an announcement for a little to the left that it's coming out in early November. So I definitely want to play that. I'm super excited about that. And I have, um, yeah, I definitely want to play that. <laughs> we have, we have a um, Minecraft server being set up. We can play that too. I'm excited. Okay, that is the, sh the sepia shade. Now we want to add some white scar. Uh, how completely frustrating getting COVID right now would be. The world's so sick of the disease. Yeah, exactly. Uh, talking about something you're struggling, possibly really struggling with, can feel really stressful. Yeah. Empathy was still easier to come by. 100% true. Party badger is a grandma. Emba embrace being a grandma. There's nothing wrong with that. I too am a grandma in my spare time. And I embrace it. <laughs> Grabbing another paintbrush, because if you don't have 17 paintbrushes on the go, who are you? Who are you really? Okay, I'm just going to dip straight into the paint. Uh, actually, no, I want this to be a little more accurate than that. Let's do some white water washing. The white down. I'll get some water on it. Okay. Highlight it more than anything. Still too thick. Everything's too thick. So they might help. I need to go over those a little bit more, but let's see how the white goes. It's pulling, that's how it goes. Oh, well, that's a bit annoying. Don't pull. God damn it. My terribly ugly skull. I am too good my spare time. Thank you. Thank you for adding that quote to the bot. <laughs> my quote bot's getting uh, some rather random content. I'd like to point out, I don't think that's my fault. No, oh, I filled the cracks. Okay, let's just do white and then we'll come back and redo the things that I broke. It's fine. We'll just... I'll put some white. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Okay, we'll just we'll do white for now. Make it look like a proper skull. This uh, screaming skull underneath is really cool color wise. I ruin the sepia every single damn time. I gotta learn to just put it on very very last. Every damn time being the two times I've tried to use it. <laughs> like that one for some reason. I mean, <laughs> it does. How you doing, Tim? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good day. The bot does what the bot wants. She's sassy and she does her own thing. I want to paint the inside of the nose to be darker. So we have to get a darker colour. I just feel like it could be really creepy. I like a good creepy skull. Yeah, I just, I covered all the cracks again, so I'm a real genius with that. It's okay. We'll fix it. I don't want it to be perfect white, because if it's perfect white, like skulls aren't that colour unless you bleach them. So I want to make it like a yellowy colour. And then the greens will really pop on it as well. So we'll do the greens next. Not that I have any of the colours that we require for this. I bought all the wrong colours. 
Hundred percent the wrong colors. That's okay. We will mix and match. The color needs to be so thin. Not a bad day? That's good. Read your overall thoughts, James. I love it. I love that you have really good thoughts that you share with us, Adrian. So I always read them in now's chat as well. I like your long thought process. Always share it. Never change. Never change. <laughs> It's also because I write novels as well. I'm quite the, here's my brain dump from my actual full thought. Please enjoy reading it type person. <laughs> I do that. Weekend's been going good, Badger. I was trying to remember what I even did yesterday. I went for a nice walk. I remember that. I did commission stuff. Oh, wait, but it's not supposed to be white. Oh, well. Um, I only have one commission spot left for the entire year. What is that on about? One spot left. And then, oh yeah, that's rock. Okay. Um, that was it. That's all I did. Commission stuff in a walk. Super busy day. But it was really lovely. And so Atreyu and I both don't work on Fridays. Um, so we had another nice day on Friday. I'm so excited for stream to be on a Friday now. Um, all of my stuff's gonna change next week. It's gonna be really weird. Stream's gonna be different. The same, same, but different. I'm definitely gonna have to use the tiniest of paintbrushes in here because it's like there's no space. But I like the white. It just works. I'm getting into this quite a lot now. Like I'm enjoying figuring out what colors need to be shaded with. I've been thinking about this an irrationally large amount as well <laughs> off stream. <laughs> On your side of the international dateline, it's Saturday. Oh, really? Wow. It's Saturday for you? Well, it's Sunday for me. It's Sunday over here for us. Definitely a novelist, yeah. <laughs> Bringing, oh, you're gonna be going back to it after grad school's done? That's so exciting, Adrian. That's super exciting. I love hearing about how you're doing at school. How's the teaching going? How are you feeling in that now? I think that's supposed to be skull. I'm going to make that plant though. Look how good this looks white. I should have done this bit before I did the stain though. So we're going to do the stain at the very, 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 very end now. But he looks like a skull. Check him out. He's all skull-like. And this is going to be a rock. So we're going to make that like a grey. I think even in there it's going to be rock-like. That's going to be rock. This is all leafy vine. Leafy vine. Rock, rock. Yeah, he looks so good. Maybe a little cakey looking. Send some water to thin it out a little bit. I'm really enjoying the skull. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we will let him dry fully before I then start on the greens. And then we can do the <laughs> thing I ruined again. All right, back to this guy though. Now we need more of a greeny jewel. And they say... Temple Guard Blue. 
which is this one. What does it look like the color on the box? Sunday, right, right. You'll be doing a personal raid to see John. Who's Johnson? I don't know who that is, I'm afraid. To one of our students for the first time in two and a half years, a week ago tomorrow. Oh, wow. Well, it was rough, but Wednesday was better. I'm so excited that you're doing it. That's such good news. Uh, that's massive, though. Like, it's so scary to go back to something like that. I'm glad that you were, like, going outside your comfort zone and doing it. Yeah, I got loads of people, Badger. I'm so excited, but it is a little scary because I'm having to sort of be like, ah. I've left a couple of special spots aside um, time-wise. Oh, this is quite a nice blue. It's not as light as I thought it would be. Wait, did I already use this one? Yes. <laughs> Gauze Blaster Green is what I'm actually supposed to be, I think. Oh, this is the right one. This is the right one, it's fine. Um, and then white. Yeah, we white. We brush white over it afterwards. It's fine, let's just add some of this in. Um, what was I saying? I forgot. Oh yeah, I left a couple of special spots aside for some people. They'd already reached out to me earlier in the year and were like, oh, I might need you later in the year. So I have left those aside. But I've closed off, except for one more, for the like general public. It's crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. But we've got a whole... Oh, we've got some really exciting stuff to make. So I'm going to see if the people are okay with me making it on stream. But from October, we've got a whole completely new part of the website coming. And I'm really excited. I can't share it yet. But I am so excited to share it. So I need to write to the people and see if they're okay with me doing everything on stream to go with it. Um, but it's a pretty big collaboration for me. I'm really excited. I'm just using my brush to like help smooth the, the transition between colors. This is just a dry brush. I'm just pushing it upwards. Which I think helps and then we'll just push it back down again so we can like smush the paint. So that seems to help with the blending. What do you think? Does it help with blending? I think that helps. It's giving us a cool color anyway. I really like it. <laughs> this is a nice color. It's by far my favorite color so far. Um, yeah, it's some, some new stuff from October that's going to be very exciting. And I just need to see if we can do it all on stream because it's going to be quite a large amount of work. Otherwise, I'm going to be really busy <laughs> through October. But we have our Halloween collection. And I don't know if you were all here, but we did decide as a community Halloween this year was going to be body parts. And I have already sort of got designs of what I want to do. There's going to be rings and pendants mainly, but I will have a pair of earrings at minimum. One pair of earrings where we will have body parts. I'm very excited. It's going to be quite a clean series, even though it's a weird subject. I'm going to do the edge in here. The edge is quite faded. That's a bit better. I really like this. I really like it. We need to do highlighting with white and stuff. But I need to do that on all the pieces still. Going from that to that to that. Not bad, huh? I think that looks really cool. This color is really ghostly. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be daunting, but in a good way. Like, I start my new job in a week and I'm not scared. I feel like I should be. There's a lot going on there. But I'm not. I'm actually super excited to take on that challenge. Um, which has got to be a good sign, I think. But it should hopefully enable me to do so much more. Having extra income always gives you that little, little extra freedom. So I'm rolling with it. There you go, it's nice with the darker line there. It's 
lighten that up a little. It's a lot of water. I didn't mean to put quite that much water on, but that's okay. Let's do its thing. Let's leave it for a sec to do its thing. Yeah, I'm really excited. We're going to be making our first hair forks though as well. We've not made any hair forks in this channel before. I've never made one. Um, but we're going to be doing them. And it's going to be, these are two Peter Sight and one Moonstone. And we're going to do it on brass. So it's going to be silver on the top. So these will be wrapped in silver and on a silver plate. And then this will be, the hair forks will be jeweler's brass, let's see, so that it won't um, cost as much. But it will be really stylish. Can't wait. And it's not small, like that'll be like a good, a good piece to stick in the hair. New stuff and things, yeah, new stuff and things. Yeah, it should be really fun. It's exciting, scary, but fun. Yeah, I can't believe we've like, what was it got? This is the time of year when everyone wants a commission before Christmas, so it's always quite busy right now. And it takes me a while to get to them all because there's only one of me. That's just how that goes. <laughs> it's only the one. Okay. That's a pretty good color gradient. Now I want to add white to it if I want to do any more color or like a, there's a dark, I've got a dark oil, the shade Nulin oil. I think I'm going to put that into the crevices just to give it some like depth. But we're gonna do really nice thin white lines on all of these like veins in it. It's gonna be pretty intense. It's gonna take a lot of hand concentration, but I think we can get a really nice look to that. I'm definitely doing this different to the picture, um, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. Definitely doing this different. <laughs> this is just my way of doing it, I guess. Oh, my paintbrush, you logged. Your water logged. I love thinner ones, much less forgiving on movement. Like they need, um... They don't flex as well as the other ones do. Oh, which is frustrating because that's just now made a mark. Okay, well, I'll just get some more white and we'll fix you, I guess. dry brush down. You got it when you do cutting it fine yeah i mean i would definitely accommodate people from twitch i'd accommodate people from twitch more than i would anywhere else um and some of the people the places i've kept aside um may not eventuate to anything so there's definitely room if people want stuff it's just i'm in shock so in like august i'm like yeah i can't take any more like big commissions nice position to be in don't get me wrong i am grateful Hmm, my white's not doing what I want it to. White, why you no do the thing? Okay, well let's avoid white for now. We'll come back to that. It's not doing quite what I want because it's really messy the way it's applied here. It's fine. We're just gonna keep going on this paint instead.
This one is back to the Temple Guard bully. I need a little thing that'll pop up, you know, like on screen and it'll just be like Temple Guard Blue, spinny thing, and then it's an image of the paint. I need to get some little overlays. Why doesn't Citadel help me out? <laughs> These are little paint overlays every time I say it. That'd be a pretty fun feature. Make it like a Siri or something. You'd be like, hey, bot. Citadel, Temple Guardian, or Temple Guard Blue. And then it just brings it up. I'm not tech wizardy enough <laughs> to know how to do that, unfortunately, but I can have the idea. Oh, I don't know how to execute. I'll go to the desk. Playing with Bradley for Christmas gifts on Friday after showing you the ring. Oh, that's so nice. I had a lovely person buy a ring from me this week on Etsy. So I've actually had a few inquiries from Etsy, which has been very cool. Since I really don't know what I'm doing on there. Um, I've just got my older stock on there that I wasn't selling to the website anymore. I just thought maybe I'd find a home for it there. And I had a ring that broke, stone broke when I got back. Which was really frustrating. Um, but she wanted it anyway. She really liked it. So we epoxied it together and it should last a pretty long time still. It's a solid ring, which is very nice. It's really nice to sell it. It's a shame to break it because opals like this, the sterling opals can be quite brittle after a while. You have to be careful that you don't knock them about too much. But I tripped and I dropped it. Oh, it looks icy. I love how icy it looks. It looks so cool. The side still needs some work, but I'm going to try the darker oil and see if that works. I've not tried the oil yet. Hi, Lithic, how you doing? <laughs> you spy with your half blind eye. Why is your eye half blind? How are you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're having a really good weekend. A nice, chill Sunday, hopefully. <laughs> We are Warhammering. Oh, we're just doing the painting. I'm not doing the actual game. I don't know how to do the actual tabletop game. Does anyone here play it? Okay. <laughs> just trying really hard to open this without splooging it everywhere. I did it. Win. Victory. Victory is mine. Okay, I'm going to try and put this into the little crevices. This is a black colored like oil it's a nung shade nung and i just want to give some shadow pops i think it's really going to help and i was right <laughs> it looks awesome okay good okay yeah i really like it you don't need much of this. This is an experiment more than anything, so I may have to redo it at some point, but I'm gonna go with it for now. Something I haven't been doing at the top, I'm gonna have to do the top bit. I need to use a thinner brush, so... Oh, is that like still caked with primer? Oh, it is. Gross. 
No, that's not usable. I can't use that. Where's a thin, thin brush? We got more in here. Let's abuse the privilege of the thin brush. She's this one. You come say hi and drop a like. Thank you for the luck. It's nice to see you. You spent many years doing safety squints while welding. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so your poor eyes, your poor, poor eyes. I'm so sorry. I like the idea of both orange and green on there. I really like the blues, but I think I want to give it more of a purple bash than it's got right now, if I'm honest. I'd really like to get some purple on it, but I don't have any. So we're going to live with what we have for now. But yeah, I think an orange could be kind of cool. A green setup could be kind of nice. Like a nice dark green. Gosh, you need like almost none of this. I mean, it's such a dark line already. Crazy. Okay, well, it does the thing I wanted, so that's good. Might get some more of the blue up in here then. I'm gonna go with the darker blue we had earlier, but not the darkest of the blues we had. A darker blue. Okay, Oh, I hear you, Battle. Let's get these a little different color too. <laughs> well, yeah, mossy woodland green for the clock would be really nice. There's so many different ways to paint this. All right, what do you reckon, sleep frame? Do you think we need to have another tank? I can't tell what we have character-wise. The screen's too far from my face for me to see what kind of characters we have. And you can't zoom in to make them bigger. Oh, so I rely on sleep frames expertise. <laughs> tell me what I need. Hmm. We may struggle here. We may struggle. Killing field. What was killing field again? Melee. Uh, melee, high ground. Uh, yeah, give us a tower tank. Okay, and the tower tank is on us. Smack in the middle. Like there? <laughs> I'm going to wait till you respond before I let that go. Like, it's where we stand still, right? So right there would cover, like, pretty much everybody. <laughs> We're all waiting. <laughs> I have a long delay in between my stream and me getting response. I don't know why it's so long. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I really need to give you control of my stream readers. <laughs> okay, there's 140 of them, but the computer didn't learn. Come on, computer. Give us easier time. <laughs> this may be a bit hard for us. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try again. Persistence, if nothing else, is what I have. So, I'm sorry that we get the salvage chest, but I'm doing it again. I want the skin, y'all. I want the skin. This will be our last try. <laughs> this will be our last one. All right. I'm going to put down my archer this time. I'm putting it in the same spot each time. I don't know if it's a a dumb move um but it's the move i've got so done okay. <laughs> all done i think i want to be able to do some like smaller strokes behind each of these different areas like each one of these needs kind of a little shadow behind it This is such a big brain move to do this on the back first. To learn all about it. It's not bad. 
I think it's very not bad. I'm doing the darker shadows first because I've got the steadiest hand and I figure I can do the lighter ones after. Oh, chair. Move. <laughs> and I can top up the like color around it where I've slipped. <laughs> sorry we didn't win sorry we tried we did our best we at least you all your epic potions and stuff you never know we might win some point maybe in the future the black makes a huge difference I've not used this at all before, so I don't know. I didn't know what it would do. You can see all those dark lines I've created everywhere. Okay, I need a white version of this. Which I guess is just the scar white. To a white scar. Oh, I can't even see the bells anymore. Hold on. Here we go. It's not looking too bad, is it? I don't dislike it. I'm just going to try painting on a highlight and see what this does. Just the one. I don't want it to be pure white. I'm just going to go with a lighter color. I've just mixed white with the Temple Guard Blue just to create the initial lighter colour. It's just a start and then we can add white on top. I need the really fine one. Oh no, I missed. Okay, I steady hand. I do not have steady hands. Concentration is real. I 
<laughs> Thanks. I'm glad you like it. Can you tell to these little bits? I'm going cross-eyed. I think I need the little magnify things. <laughs> I'm gonna try them. I've never worn these before. Um. But I'm going cross-eyed looking at that. Let's have a look. How do I get into you though? Box, how do you open? Oh, this way. Holy shit, this comes with all sorts of magnifying. <laughs> them so i could be as blind as i like oh and it needs battery oh my god it's got a headlamp this is just epic this is this is the most epic pair of goggles i've ever owned okay firstly go onto my head oh i think i want something in between ow me and that it's quite cold <laughs> if i put a tissue in there it's gonna look even worse Okay, but how does this work? I'm looking at little magnifying glasses. Oh my god. Uh, you're so close, chat. <laughs> Wait, does it go this way? Wow. Or does it go this way? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's so magnified. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my high pointy pain. Oh, come on in. How you doing? Hi. I don't have steady hands. Let's paint miniatures in an epically detailed fashion. Yes. Thank you for the raid. How you doing? Welcome on in. How was your stream? We're just figuring out how to use a magnifying tool because I am now struggling to see. <laughs> I'm now struggling to see any of the detail. This is my first ever, um, my first ever miniature. How you doing? Welcome on in. <laughs> what were you up to today? Look how good this looks. <laughs> Look how good this looks. Actually, chat, this is really good. I can see you really close now. It's like readable. Maybe I could do stream readers now. <laughs> it's going really well. It's going really well. Thank you for asking. This is the first one we've ever done. Um, so currently we're just doing the wings. So you can see my white on here was a bit messy, but I'll fix that later. I'm just trying to figure out how to do these lines with the white highlighting. This is literally the first time I've ever done one of these. This is so good. Um, I hope you had a nice stream and welcome to anybody who's new who's come along with the raid. My name is Crackle and I'm metalsmith most of the time, but we're actually Warhammer painting quite often lately. I'm liking mixing up the content to pick up a new skill take life slow this is the most bizarre thing ever it's like on my eyebrows painting blood angels for your hit wow for your heresy army that sounds fun yeah i think i'm gonna have to do that like the side of the brush is a good idea oh so i don't really know much about the dry brush technique i don't really know what i'm doing like is it just my brush needs to be dry like i'm a total noob Completely a noob. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm loving giving it a go. I need to fix that. I made such a mess of that. And now that I'm close, I can see like how much of a mess I made. This makes a huge difference to what I can see. Even though I just messed that up, it's fine. This is just an experiment. This is the back of the wings. So we're doing the backs of everything first because if I screw it up and nobody but me sees it, <laughs> that's the thinking anyway behind it. This is super unattractive. It's brilliant. What is this light reflection thing I got going on at the bottom of them? <laughs> so great. <laughs> Put the paint in the brush and rub it off on the paper towel and then like, oh, and then lightly rub it on the wing. Oh, okay. So you like lightly rub it off and then rub it on. Oh, like on here though, on there. So if I've got my dry brush here, wait, let's get a different dry brush. Hold on, I can't see. 
Um, pour the paint on the brush and put the paint on the brush and then rub it up in the paper towel and then run it up doing this. This is really awkward. How do my, do my eyes look really big to you now? <laughs> this is super attractive. So we put some paint on the brush and then we just lightly rub it in. So it basically rubs it into the brush as well while we're doing it. Like... It's definitely made it lighter to brush on, but it's still not giving me quite the effect I'm after. That's okay. Not quite what I'm after. I'm not doing that right, I don't think, but what I can do is water that in. Because it's the back, I can just play. <laughs> I'm definitely not a star quality painter, but it's fun. It's gonna end up so good. It's gonna end up so crackle like. It's gonna be just my skill set. Oh man, how do people wear these things all the time? It's really heavy. I can't even. Oh, you do it that way. Oh, wow. My poor eyebrows. <laughs> Look how the rabbits made them. Okay. All right, let's stick to the big colors for now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I need to practice, I think. I need to practice more with that because I did not do justice to that at all. Um, but I do want it to be lighter here anyway, so it's okay to mix the color. I'm okay with mixing the color along the base. I've just unevenly applied it on like the talon even. Go me. There's a bit of white on my brush, so I'm just adding it all over the side here. I still really like it. Not bad for my first ever model, huh? I don't hate it at all. I'm just gonna go through and darken some colors and then like mix the, like blend the colors better in here. But I'm getting there. I really like it. Okay, we wanna go back to our turquoise color. And blend a bit better up in here. Layering is a whole skill just in itself. Also, we're stream raidering today. If anybody wants to join, feel free. We have a battle going. We're doing a skin battle right now. You get something cool out of that. Basically, we're taking the easy route so you can get some good uh experience for your character i'm probably really offending people with how i paint <laughs> my painting's very laissez-faire hi pixie how you doing welcome one in can you go grab that food of course thank you so much for bringing your community go and enjoy the rest of your day sit back relax speed up eat go to the bathroom whatever you need thank you for being here i appreciate it greatly Go check out Pointy Paints, painting their models. Oh, Warhammer community and the miniature community has been so friendly on here. It's been so nice. It's a lovely group of people. And everyone's been really good with like my question, <laughs> my really noobish questions. And like you don't know the answers until you ask someone, right? Like these are the things that you just don't know straight off the bat. It's things you need help with when you get going. And I know I'm doing this in a messy way, but I'm enjoying the dry brush on top to blend. It's like makeup is how I view this. It's very makeup like. And I haven't got my dark blue uh, paint quite right on here yet. So we're going to get that this week and add that back in, I think. Because it'll add that blend, I think, a bit better than what I have right now. Just trying making it again. Just some of this here. 
But it is like makeup. Blend it together. Yes, that's better. I wish I was better at blending, but you know, you can't always be a superstar at everything first time. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Eat, drink, the Miriam P. Yeah, all the good things. I don't hate it. It's not a bad color blend, I think. You can kind of see like a dark line up in here. That's what I really need to get rid of. It's slowly going. Just paint over it. No one will see it. <laughs> paint directly over it. That's from my sh my shade oil, maybe. Yeah, I like it. It's getting like a darker, it's a darker color in the back than I will do on the front. The front is gonna be a lot lighter because it's much more of a a green effect that I'm after. And actually, I wonder if I should try adding a little bit of green to this. Let's see, okay, that's the... Uh, I kind of want to start with a really bright green. Let's just go with a real bright green. Let's just go for it and see if it makes a difference. <laughs> I like to color mix. So what I'm mixing is the Skarsnik Green with the Temple Guard Blue. It's going to be quite the shock colour. I might do it on this side so I don't ruin it. Oh, it's quite the green. It might be too green, I think. Too green. Too green, but that's okay. Take it back off. That's fine. All right, let's let it dry a little bit and we'll go back to our skull. And we can probably get into some proper greens with this guy. I'm going to need a new palette soon. Okay, I want... What do we have on the skull? We had Death world no that's different all right death world forest arthonian camo shade ogren camo and a creek khaki i don't have any though so i'm just gonna make it up <laughs> this is a layer this is a layer this is a layer where is my base a base a base a base a nice dark green face. Here, face. That'll do. This is wah! Flesh. Actually, wah! Flesh. <laughs> We're gonna make that into the base for the, like, the greeny hues on the, um, what do you call it? The vines. I'm trying to open this desperately without splurging it. Okay, this is a really thin one. I gotta be really careful painting this. I'm just clean some of my brushes because they're all just sitting here covered in paint. Any tips for the way to get paint off brushes, by the way? Any good products that you recommend?
I just got water here, but I'm assuming like turpentine is probably quite good, but I don't want to ruin the brush. Any tips? Welcomed. Give him a proper clean after stream. Oh, that's a dark green. How dark that is. Okay, let's put that onto the outfit. Oh, it's kind of an army green almost. Um, hard to show you in the light. Yeah, it's this green here. It's kind of an army green. Which I guess makes sense being a Warhammer. Hello? Give it the dark color first. It's gonna be easier to work with the darker shade underneath. And just lighten it with highlights. I'm so excited to stick this guy down on the the base. So adding some color to him is really gonna help. Lightest of greens, nothing too heavy. I'd like to stick him to the base today if we could. Let's see how we get on. spread too much paint maybe too thin into the white I'm going to have to do a touch up a beautiful green though that works pretty good pops pretty well on the skull right that stands out really well I like it This is kind of a snake growing out of it. I don't know if I really want it to be the same colour, but I've just started that colour. I might paint that a different colour. Let's go back around to this side. I'm going to paint that more of a grey with a snake bit coming out. Am I right on that? Yeah, I am right on that. like R2-D2. That was intentional. I'm definitely getting some purple to go with the dark blue. I want to add some purple to those wings. Yeah, that's a snake right through there, okay. Just keep this color separated. I 
making sure that the backs and everything. Phew. Takes a little bit. We'll get there. Color's coming out really nice now. We got three minutes left on our stream raiders. We've got a few people in there now. If you want to join us, do exclamation SR. And it'll have a link to the battle for you. That green's all really nice as a base. That pops. It's not overly clear. There we go. It must be the, the brush. Sorry. Sometimes the camera freaks out a little when I have a brush. Uh, I'm just looking at the back. Okay, more brownie color. And green. I'm following the box for the colorway on this one because it's my first one. I wanted to keep it uh, true to the original until I get a bit more comfortable with painting and then I can do my own style. I'm just going to touch up if I can just along in here. And the green went a little skew. Perfect. What color do we want next? Um, uh, kind of a, a middle ground. I think I've got the camo and maybe the khaki. I've got the a different green that can kind of cool. I think I have the khaki. I have to look at like literally every color because nothing looks like it does on the on the bottle. <laughs> it's not scared. You're scared. I'm always scared. There we go. There's the camo. Uh, oh, discard green. Was that what we needed? No. No. That's a flesh, that's a skin, that's a grey. No. So like, it would be nice for the snake. Yeah, that mixed with a grey could be really good with the snake. But I kind of want to give the snake a little bit of a shine. So I think I've got a silvery colour in here somewhere. Oh yeah, Stormhouse Silver, that looks sparkly. We're gonna mix that and make this, the snake have a little bit of a sparkle to it. I think that'll be kind of cool. Khaki, yeah, it's a khaki. I have a khaki. Oh, I don't actually have the khaki. I don't have it. Um, I don't have, a, don't have the Cree khaki, but I have the, the Ogren, Ogren camo. And they are, oh, that's a shade. A Thonian, do I have a Thonian camo? Camel. Camo. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I have. I've mixed it all up and I've ruined it. I got a couple of like really glittering ones. <laughs> I love that I didn't get any of the colors I needed, but I got some really pretty ones that I'll never need. Like I got a bronze. Look at this. It's so pretty. Look at that color. I don't know where I'll use that. But we'll find a way. All right, stream raiders, let's do you. I'm going with haste today. This is our last time trying this one. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to go and we're going to try something new. Okay, it's much more evenly matched. The computer has learned our volume, so that's good. I think you're going to do it, chat. You've got this one. Yeah, it learned. Nice job. Do, 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 do. Well done. <laughs> we got a blue chest. Oh, look at that. Shinobi scrolls and centurion scrolls. Oh, and I got monk scrolls. Enjoy them. <laughs> Finally, I got my Raid Harlow silver badge. Ooh, we get a tome next. <laughs> I am excited about the tome. 
Where are we at in terms of our actual quest, though, right? We're trying to get the points. We have 8 out of 50 event tokens. Okay, we've got a lot to go. Let's upgrade our monk. Upgraded. But, wait, it's a harder battle now? Well, I didn't sign on for that. <laughs> we'll see how we go, chat. Let's try it. Wow, it's 6.30 already. The time has flown today. Um, It's a harder one, so down goes my tank. Definitely goes with the tank and uh battle plan this is the same map we had before i have to say i'm a little aggrieved when they give me the exact same map like come on give me something a little different oh sorry i've left all my rubbish everywhere can't even see what we're painting this guy this guy okay let's try the lighter green and i'm going to try the war boss green uh, although the Nurgling green is kind of cool, I think I'm going to stick with the, yeah, we're going to do the war boss. War boss. We're going to do this one. I like this one a lot. This is like a good, oh no, this is a good green. This is a really good green. For plant life, like it's what I think of for plant life green. <laughs> So, of course, it's awesome. It's going to be a little watery. Can get to give it some highlighted color. Firing. You hear the backfiring power out there? It's kind of hard to miss. I'm going to put a lighter color and a darker color on this as well, so it's not like a final paint. But I am excited about this color. No, that's really cool. It's really planty. It's plant lighty. It's Such a nice plant green. It just looks bright and full of life when the skull's so dead. Oops, I definitely painted onto the white again. I'll just fix that up right at the end. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing it. I'll infuriate myself. Okay, that's the darker green. So then we want to go for some nice light green highlights. We need a thinner brush for that. And definitely take it slow. Hey, 
Twitchy, how you doing? That melee enemy sea tank is like paper against them. What do you mean? So like I just fall apart? Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, that's bad choice by me, wasn't it? I'm definitely not a pro. How you doing, Twitchy? Have you having a nice weekend? I hope this teaches me to have a steadier hand. The more I do this, that I get better at it. <laughs> I'm going to get incredibly frustrated. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, like, I'm adding little light touches. This is a nice light color. To go around and do all the dark bits as well. Strong against armored units. Ah, uh, okay. Well, thank you for the hydrate. It's been an okay weekend. You've been cooking and cleaning while listening to the stream. Oh, I'm glad that I can be your background support noise. Thank you for that hydrate. Gotta keep myself hydrated. Super bad at remembering to drink while I'm on stream. I need to set myself reminders or something to drink more. See, I get my brush paint logged to make sure I clean it. Don't know what it is about the skull, but I'm enjoying this part the most so far, being able to learn how to graduate colours.
So I've got a yellow that I might add to this green to give it even more of a pop to the colour. But it's looking pretty nice against that so far. And then I've got a darkness that I'll add to it. It's about 7, 7.30 away. I just whenever you're hungry. Might give it to me this person. Okay. This is quite a yellow. This is a sunset. This is Avalanche Sunset. Ooh, it's like a mustard. Kind of a mustardy brownie yellow, so it's not too bright. I just created this color. This is lighter green. It's a much more yellow green. This is the green I've been using. It's called slightly yellower green. It's not even slightly yellow, it's very yellow compared to it. Just to give it a like depth on the leaves. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, for 30 months. 30 whole freaking months. Where's 30 months gone? What color would you like? Would you like green? I think you like green. We got a little bit of a rainbow. There's no purple this time, unfortunately. We got pretty much everything else. It looks very Christmassy. <laughs> I accidentally made it Christmassy. We're only in August. I need to calm down on my colors. Would you like green? You want you want a red? Would you like a red? I can give you red. <laughs> How are you doing, Sinful? I hope you're doing really well. Welcome to our painting stream today. Oh yeah, okay. Red it is. It's my favorite color, you know. I love red. It makes everything go faster. <laughs> Here you go. Ooh. Thank you so, so much. Oh, you got a new phone. Tell me about it. What phone did you get? New phones are always fun, but also like there's a whole stress in learning how to use them. So I hope it's a nice, like interesting phone. And it's easy. Here we go. Nice bright red. It's a lovely red. Yeah, right up there. Okay, that's you. Uh, how much wouldn't transfer to now? Oh no, I figure out how to get out of your account on your new phone. Oh no, that's so stressful. There's nothing they can do to transfer. The Samsung 22, what's the 22 plus? What does that look like? I don't know what that looks like. Samsung 22 plus. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that my browser is set to blind person. Oh, that's a nice looking phone. It's a very nice looking phone. What color did you get? I got in the lavender. That's really nice. Oh, there's a lot of camera on that phone. Four different emails, Twitch account, various authenticators. Oh no, <laughs> the authenticators are life. We need authenticators to just be coming across. 
Oh my goodness. I'm sorry that's not work. That's really stressful. That's a... That's a thing you didn't need on top of everything else, I'm sure. White or black was all they had. Oh, both of those are nice, though. Did you go black or did you go white? What color did you go with? You got it in white. Nice. What about green? Well, that is not black nor white, Jack. How you doing? Oh, come on in. White is nice. I would have gone white too. Just because I like to have the phone that will take me the most to keep clean. <laughs> Okay, we've gone with the darker oh, shade. That's what I'm after. We're going to try putting the shade in to darken it up. It's a green shade. How's your weekend been, Jack? You having a good weekend? Last time wouldn't charge anymore. Oh, no. Green would have been nice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a stress. Like, technology being such a stress. I love these shades so much. They make such a difference to a piece. Sorry if you can hear a tray cutting up dinner there. It's making me homemade burgers. Yeah, I think I've done a right job on color raised with that. So like a sunlight on one side. I think you still need to darken that up actually. When I see it on screen, it looks so different to how it does in person. It highlights all my faults. But like in a good way. The right lighting on the camera or something shows me all the bits that I need to fix. It's really good. <laughs> I like it. little candy stripe I'm gonna have to blend that color a little better it is really fun I'm so enjoying it simple like it's, it's like I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm really enjoying learning it it's so so fun I was never good at shading and stuff at school so it's like taking my worst talent and putting it to good use <laughs> I'm really excited by it you have to go super slow because you have to work with how the paint dries, right? So it's forcing me into a into a speed I wouldn't normally go at. But I am really enjoying it. Thank you, Boston. Brain's not behaving today. Oh no, I'm sorry, Jack. Well, I hope that you're able to chill out here and just relax. Stay the course, like you say. My brains can be such a dick. Literally just don't want to do any of the things we tell them to. 
I'm sorry to hear that, Ben. Okay, I want something slightly more green and yellow in there. It's too yellow. It's a good experiment, but it failed. Back to the green. See what it looks like on the camera. Not bad for a green, huh? It's not too bad. I don't hate it. <laughs> I'm gonna do the snake and then we'll come back to it. We'll see how we feel about it once we've done the snake. Now I'm gonna do that with a silver coat on top, but I'm gonna go with the brown to make it stand out brownie gray. look at this color. Yeah, this is the right color. We've got the dark colour for the stones to come in yet as well. Okay, that's supposed to be snake and I painted it green, so we're going to paint over it. brown snake but he's gonna get silverfied i'm really excited of course he's gonna get silverfied that's some bronze to him to give him some depth with some bronze that could be kind of fun Snakes should be a little sparkly, you know? This is nothing worse than a boring snake. Absolutely, and all the things I could worry about in this world, snakes being boring is top of my list. <laughs> the colour! I love that it's coming together with colour. I love it! And it was so black before. You don't know that I've painted that black now. You might. Eww. 
Open. <laughs> Open up. behind opening these up okay it's so sparkly okay let's get a nice new fresh piece on this oh it's so sparkly oh my god oh my god i cannot wait to show you this Let's try it on the back in case I ruin it. Can you see the shimmer? Look at the shimmer, it's like a real snake skin. It's so nice. Hi, Trumpet! It is sparklier than glitter. It is amazing. How are you doing? I hope you had a nice weekend. How's it been? I know you had a lot more time to yourself this weekend, so I hope you had a nice time. Oh my god, it's so sparkly. It's so pretty. Well, just by existing, this thing adds depth. I'm adding this to everything. Everything needs to shimmer with this stuff. <laughs> You're doing life wrong if you don't shimmer with silver. That should be my business motto. These are, um, these are a layer paint, but I believe they're like a contrast paint. So it kind of already comes pretty contrasty. Welcome on in. You got the toddler bed put together. Yeah, you got the bed put together. That's so exciting. <laughs> you got the right emote sleep room, you know. <laughs> oh, all the shinies. I am so happy with that. That's come up really shiny. The sparkle. And it's still got the kind of nice color to it. I am going to put the bronze on there as well because I want to add some dark color to it. The heck yeah, my skull! Where did I put the bronze is the question. There it is. It's actually called Balthasar Gold. Hey Kiwi, how you doing? Welcome on. It's got good sparkles, right? I'm really happy. Oh, yeah, I got it. I knew you put it together. I figured it out. <laughs> I misspell stuff all the time, especially on stream chat. I'm really bad at spelling on stream chat. Oh wow, this one's even sparklier. It's quite dark though, so I'm gonna have to be careful I don't accidentally overdo it. So the silver's, look how bright it is in the bronze. So we'll get, like, I only want light versions of this. We want this into the crevices, I think. This will give us some real depth. Oops, got the white already. Excellent. Well, we'll get rid of that soon. Tiniest amounts. Let's blend it. The poor white has been destroyed by my colors on this. He is such a shiny snake. <gasps> he looks very good. 
got that wet snake look, but his paint's dry. Ooh. I really like him. <laughs> I really like him. He looks so good. Uh, how late do I plan on streaming? Not for too much longer. I think I'm going to do till 7.30, so 30 more minutes. It's going to be probably where I get to today. It's going well, Kiwi. Now I kind of want you to paint my skull. <laughs> I can do that, I can arrange that. Oh my goodness, there's so many people in here. I'm gonna haste you all down here. Enjoy that haste. Oh my goodness, welcome to Stream Raiders. <laughs> it's going really well, I'm having such a good time. Why are you the best day ever? Tell me about your day. That's a pretty bold statement. I'm excited for you. We are indeed the Stream Raider gang. <laughs> Then take your dog to the dog park. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Also, dog parks are so fun. I always love watching them go a little bit like <laughs> mental, just running around. Hey, screw you, bot. We did it. We beat the AI chat. <laughs> we absolutely annihilated the AI. All right, back to the map. There we go. Where are we at? Okay, we've got an easier one. We're on a moderate. We're almost at the boss. Um, I'm not going to finish on the boss though. We're going to finish on this one today. This is going to be the last battle of the day. I haven't placed any rogues, but I'm not going to... I'm going to place a warrior because I think I had warrior... Oh no, wait, I didn't. I had flag bearer, didn't I? Okay, we'll get a flag bearer. There. There you go. I'm going there. <laughs> All right, this is going to be the last battle. Go to town, enjoy it. It's a moderate, it should be relatively easy for us. We know what we're doing. We are professionals. We are the professionals. You miss going and Rosie loves running around. Rosie's such a cute name. Especially if there's a mud pit or a small pond. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Watch them go crazy. That's so funny. Okay, I need something dark for my rock. And I'm starting to run out of light here. So we've got Rhinox Hide. I got a flesh? No, that's too light. Gorsal brown? Too light. It's gonna, I want something dark because it's rocks. I think Rhinox Hide is probably pretty good. Let's try that. Now, what are you? Zandri Dust. No, you're too light. Although you could be the sand beside. Let's go with the Rhinox Hide. And then we can put the oil over the top, I think. I'm using so many colors today. This has been a really colorful day. Oh yeah, that's really dark. That's what we're after. This is gonna be the rocks at the back and on the side. So we've got like little spots with these little rocky outcrops. Add like tufty bits to them. Maybe some sandy bits. We got a little bit of hair. Oh, paintbrush, you're not supposed to pull apart mid painting. That's bad form. I'm desperate to stick this to the stand today. So we're gonna do as much of this as we can. Ooh, it's so dark. Rich and dark. So I don't have a black, so I don't have a, like I can't make it a gray or anything, but we'll leave that just to dry for a bit before we come back and we'll add some lighter colors to it. But for now, let's get back to our wings. See where we're at, see what the color looks like. Okay, so it's dried. It's dried pretty well, not too bad. I still think it needs a lot more depth up here. I'm gonna go in with a lighter color. Do something shocking.
And then I'm going to add the oil again. I'm too impatient to wait, so I'm going to do it straight away. Yeah, I like it. Paintbrush isn't staying very soft though, it's very nimble. That's better. I must have paint all over it or something, it would be very nice. Let's try that. A bit of a bright colour with some like depth. It's been a while, making her walk first so she's not too hyper to jump with the bed. <laughs> Sounds smart, my god. Watch her go running. Yeah, <laughs> you always take a towel with you. That's so cute. Mine's been really good. I've been like, um, I've been busy working a lot on commissions this weekend, just like drawing them up and pricing them and getting uh, feedback ready for people. I also have um, the earrings we were working on on Friday had good feedback from the client so we're going to do some work on that this week as well i'm excited to finish those off they look really nice so i've got lots going on in terms of custom and then uh planning out content actually i've been planning the content through to the end of the year so we now have the content basically till october and now i'm planning october till december for stream and social media and all of my jewelry is planned which is insane. But other than that, I've been chilling, sleeping, eating. My grocery shopping today. Grocery shopping is so stressful. It's like everybody seems to be in a fight for food at the moment. I, we were at Tesco and the shelves were half empty. Like I know times are tough, but surely the supermarkets can afford the food. I don't know if it's a thing of Brexit or not, but it, yeah, 